If you have been to places like Comerica Park, Little Caesars Arena, or anything like it, you are probably very familiar with cashless transactions. Yeah, and although those cashless transactions and that commerce is growing in popularity, one city council member says she's working to stop businesses from that practice. CBS News Detroit's Chris Walker has the details from Woodward and Congress in downtown Detroit. It's all about economic inclusion. That's what Detroit City Council member Angela Whitfield Calloway says about banning cashless businesses. And as the trend is beginning to grow, the District 2 representative says she wants to make sure Detroit consumers have options. It's a sign of the times. Digital payment options like Apple Pay are checking out at card only kiosks. It appears cash is losing its king status. It still holds weight, you know what I mean? So it's like there's an entire senior generation that we will have to teach. Council member Whitfield Calloway is introducing an ordinance to Detroit City Council to ban cashless business operations. All I'm advocating for on behalf of the people is to offer options in terms of how we purchase products and services. Whitfield Calloway says the idea came after she tried to make a purchase with cash at Plum Market downtown, but her money wasn't accepted. I didn't know Plum Market didn't accept cash until I actually got to the head of the line and I was told there was no cashier, there was not a cash register, and they did not accept cash. According to the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, cashless businesses increases efficiency and added security. So you can argue both sides of the coin and say, okay, well, uh, my company can be robbed because we, we deal in cash. Your company can still be robbed because of wire fraud and um, identification theft. The agency also reports that 10 million people in the U.S. don't have bank accounts and cashless commerce excludes a wide portion of the population for making purchases. This ban is really going to protect the rights of the least of us, the poor, the low income, the senior citizen, the youth, the homeless, and people like me who still like to use cash. The ordinance will go before residents for a public hearing, then move to council chambers for a vote. Reporting in Detroit, Chris Walker, CBS News, Detroit.